Hey, it is Lois Malconian here on Houston's Morning News. 11, 11, 11. Does that mean anything to you? When I think of the fact that there's only going to be one more thing like this in my lifetime, which is 12, 12, 12 next year, then maybe this is important. Will I do something special today? I'm not sure. Apparently some people are getting married just because of this date, or trying to induce their births on this date, or playing the lottery different. I think that's a little weird. Rick Perry must be smiling today, and it doesn't have anything to do with the date. Sometimes it takes a gaffe to get you going, and wow, did his people handle him well yesterday or what? Not only did he hit every single morning talk show and then was present on cable news networks throughout the day, but last night he shows up on Dave Letterman and he does the top 10 list as to why he's so forgetful. You know what? If you haven't caught this, go to the blog on KTRH and read what I had to write today and then watch what he did. It's brilliant. He laughs at himself and quite frankly, He's really good as a comedian as well. He could talk off the cuff like that and read some lines that I was really, really impressed with. We've got a lot of disturbing news though, that's going to be happening over the weekend. We're going to find out what the game is going to be like between Penn State and Nebraska tomorrow. But there are new things that are unfolding in that case, and we'll be bringing that to you. The stock market is soaring today. You know, it looks like Italy and Greece may have dealt with their issues, certainly not wrapped anything up, but investors like that when we see that people are dealing with their own stuff themselves and the market is just soaring today, trying to make up for losses earlier in the week. And it's Veterans Day. Remember a veteran today, think about what you're doing, and honor those people who are, have served in the military and are serving right now. Thank you so much for your service. We'll be back here bright and early Monday morning on Houston's Morning News.